Why play Leona support? Well, she brings a ton of lockdown. She's great at team fighting. She's amazing at keeping her carry alive, and she has incredibly strong roams. However, she is very reliant on her team following up her engage, and she's very all in, which means she has very few ways out after she engages. Leona's passive is her ability's mark enemies hit for one and a half seconds. Allied champions can then attack or use an ability against the target to consume the mark, dealing bonus damage. Leona's Q is an auto attack reset, which empowers her next attack. The empowered attack has a very short cast time, gains bonus range, deals bonus damage and stuns the target for one second. This being an auto attack reset means she's incredibly good at clearing wards the second they're placed before they go invisible. Leona's W causes her to become incredibly tanky, where she gains flat damage reduction as well as bonus armor and bonus magic resist. After three seconds, the shield then detonates dealing magic damage to all nearby enemies. And if this hits an enemy, the duration of the ability is extended again by another three seconds. Leona's E is a straight line skill shot which deals damage to enemies hit. If this hits an enemy champion, she will then dash to that champion and root them for a short amount of time. If this ability hits multiple enemies, she will dash to the furthest enemy away. Leona's ultimate creates a circle on the ground, which after a short delay will grant sight of the area and deal damage to all enemies hit. Targets hit are also massively slowed, however, if they're right in the center of the ability, they're stunned instead. For combos, if you're able to walk up to them, use your W, following up with a basic attack into your Q reset into another attack before using your E to either CC chain or follow a flash. And of course, if you have ultimate available, follow up with this to continue the CC chain. For matchups, Leona does great into shorter range enchanters or other engaged supports who she can constantly get onto and lock down. And she can struggle against the champions so you can interrupt her E and Kaita. For runes, take this. Aftershock is very viable, but Glacial is just a little bit too good at the moment. For build order, start Relic Shield and Pot into Tier 2 Boots and a Locket. After this, a Zeke's and a Knight's Vow are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q, then E, then W, before maxing W, then E, then Q, taking Ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Ignite. Starting the game, you can play in multiple different ways. Firstly, you can play as the engaged support, going in whenever your opponent oversteps. Getting a fast level 2 is a great power spike, and landing an E into a stun is a massive amount of damage, especially if your carry can proc your passive twice. Also, another incredibly strong strategy is simply getting level 2 and then flashing at your opponent with Q. This means you can either use your E to follow up CC or even chase their flash back. And if your carry can follow this up, along with your ignite, you bring great kill pressure. However, if your opponent's not overstepping, you can simply take brush control, ward up your lane, and play safe and wait for opportunities. And when you hit level 6, getting onto your opponent is now incredibly lethal. Also, if you're playing in a more passive lane, get your boots as soon as you can and look to roam mid or go with your jungler. You bring such a silly amount of lockdown and most mid laners will bring enough damage that you can get incredibly free kills. Entering the mid game, you want to take your tower as soon as possible and rotate mid. This will put you and your carry in the center of the map for easy sieging and will allow two strong champions to quickly roam to fights and objectives. Entering late game team fights, you can either play as your team's engage or peel for your carry. When engaging, landing your E or ultimate on a backline carry before following up with the rest of your CC chain can be devastating, and this allows your team incredibly easy follow up while you make them stand still. Otherwise, if your backline's been constantly dived or if you have a strong carry, sit back and peel for them. Give them the time they need to win the fight for you.